Hello everyone, I hope you're doing very well. So today I finally sat down to film the how I keep warm in the van video because it's been three years I've been traveling on the road in warmer and not so warm places and I don't have a heating in a van so I thought I would share with you uh, my tips for keeping warm during winter. So tip number one, and I think this is a very obvious one, is to drive to warmer places. Uh, right now we are in the south of France and I think it's about 13 degrees, which for me is just the perfect weather. So uh, yeah, I've escaped from the cold Scotland to find warmer weather. And I know that this is not uh, something that everybody can do, but if you can, then this is the easiest solution to beat the cold. <laughs> So tip number two is another very obvious one, but you know, you gotta start somewhere and it is to dress properly. I know that there is a, I think it's a Finnish thing or correct me if I'm wrong, that says it's never too cold, is that you're just not dressed enough or something like that. I believe in that and so I haven't got that much clothes, but I do have quite a few warm clothes. So usually what I do, I have uh, three fleeces. I know it's a lot for a minimalist, but I can stack those up and they make me so cozy. So I have a uh, first layer, if you could say that, of North, Fla North Face fleece. And then I have this other North Face uh, little jacket that I can put on top of the first one. And then if it's really, really cold, I have another fleece that is big enough to stay on top of everything. And I have a lightweight jacket and a proper Wait, wait, it's in the floor. <laughs> a proper winter jacket. So when it's really cold, and by really cold for me, minus two would be very cold, I am all dressed with this, which uh, it is a lot, and it does restrict the movements, but at least you're nice and cozy. And also, uh, it's really important to have really thick and nice uh, socks, which I won't show you now, because they're dirty, but I'm sure you, you see what I mean. Also, when it's very, very cold, I like to put something on Audi Boy too, just because he's getting older and I don't know, I just feel like he needs an extra coat. Uh, I've never been a big fan of like uh, dressing dogs, but I think, yeah, once they get they start to get older, you can see that they're uncomfortable. So uh, I've been loving this coat on him. It's a rough wear uh, padded coat, and this is made especially, I guess, for colder climates. And I uh, put this on him both for, you know, during the day if it's chilly, but also at night, because I've noticed that uh, even if I try to put blankets on top of him, then he he will move at night, and then in the morning he won't anything, he won't have anything on him. And so I think this is a good solution, uh, even to keep at night to keep your dog warm if you have uh, if you have no heating. Okay, the sun is leaving us. Hopefully, it's coming back. But the third tip is another obvious one, and is to have a very good sleeping bag. I have a minus. Well, I mean, the comfort of this sleeping bag would be minus three. So on this, I keep toasty uh, on like very cold days and in all honesty like even if I had heating in the van I don't think I would use it at night because this keeps me so warm uh, obviously you have the first impact where you're going in and everything is cold but after five minutes you start getting toasty so I would suggest if you're planning to start uh, living in a van especially in winter to invest in a really good sleeping bag you're not gonna regret it and you can use it you know for camping and all of that other cool stuff Tip number four is going to be to use the good old water bottle. Uh, this I bought, I think, for less than 10 pounds online. And I mean, if you, I'm, I'm, I suppose that you already use this in your life, but all you do is you fill it in with hot water and it creates some warmth. What I like to do is to put this on my in my sleeping bag before going to bed so that it keeps it nice and warm or if it's really really cold i might do it during the day and then just keep it you know next to my belly or my feet or wherever you know i'm getting cold and uh if you want to invest in something very cheap then definitely get yourself a um, hot water bottle you can use this also for period pains this is what i usually do or if you get like bad uh, back pains all that kind of stuff so yep this is definitely a keeper. Tip number five, 
This I'm not as much as a fan just because there is a little bit of waste involved but for really 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 bad days then I might or you could use those uh, heat pads those are heat pads that you find uh, for you know when you have muscle show uh, muscle uh, pain on the back or on the shoulders or even period pains um, you can stick this onto your skin and it keeps you well it keeps that area um, warm so I like to use this for when it's very cold and I'm struggling to keep warm I might put this on my back or on my stomach or you know wherever you want to put it really and those are I think I paid them about three whew, three pounds for the pack so this can be a, an, again a cheap um, remedy for days where you're really 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 uh, cold tip number six would be to drink tea and this is one of my favorite ones I guess because I love drinking tea in summer in winter all the time and I find that it really warms you up it warms up the van because you know the the, the water boiling and the condensation kind of raise the temperature a little bit in the van and also it just warms you up from the inside so uh, that's I think a great tip for uh, the colder days and then my last tip and the most drastic one I guess is to uh, drive away it had happened a few times where I was just so cold and nothing helped me warming up and in that case the last resort is to make a few you know drive a few miles so that you can put the you can warm up the engine of the van and you can put the heater up let the uh, cabin of your van warm up and then you can go to bed or whatever you need to do I had to do this once when uh, I was uh, it was winter and I just couldn't feel my fingers anymore I couldn't feel my fingers of the toes or you know I couldn't feel my finger of my toes no I couldn't feel my toes or my fingers and so I had just to drive a little bit and then go back to my parking spot just to get the uh, cabin uh, warmed up so there you go those were my tips for surviving the winter without a heater obviously you could invest in a heater I'm not saying that you should you know uh, for sure live without a heater for me personally I prefer not to have one just because I've I've tried a few and I never feel safe having gas that close to me and uh, there is a good solution which would be to install a robusto on the van a robusto would be a system that um, draws fuel from your car and burns it to uh, convert it into heat or something like that but it is quite expensive and since I'm not planning to live in this van for uh, you know a lot longer because I'm planning to upgrade then for me it doesn't make any sense to invest in something that expensive uh, that said if you do have any tips uh, on particular heaters that you find are good or any other tips uh, without you know for surviving winter without uh, the heater then do let me know I would love to hear that um, for now we are driving south so I'm hoping that we're not gonna need that much of those remedies but uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you soon bye bye guys see you the next time bye bye bye